What's happening everybody? It's the Baked Runner. This is week number 10 of the 90 D Health Challenge with John. 10 already? Yeah. Oh it's, Time flies. It is. It's going fast, man. And the fat flies off as well. Indeed, indeed. You betcha. Well, as we always like to do first and coming up is get John to strip off the shirt, jump on the scale and see what is happening for the weight. All right. Alrighty, my man, what are we at? 231. 231. So a couple more pounds since last week. Perfect. Another couple pounds drops. And uh, yeah, so how are you feeling this week? Good. Uh, getting caught up on some days off and able to get some rest happening and, and feel human again. So. Uh, Last week coming out of the holidays, I was yeah. just kind of going through the motions, but now my brain's back in the game. Yeah, and, right uh, on. Feeling good, so got a lot of exercise, got a lot of rest, got a lot of nutrition this week. Perfect. And uh, feeling great, yeah. Awesome. First 24-hour uh, fast last week. That's right, the 24-hour fast. How did that go? Yeah. So that was actually easier than I thought. So yeah. I'll just making sure I had that uh, green power drink in the morning and, yeah. and uh, get that nutrition in me first thing and yeah. had some drinks throughout the day and got a little grumbly in the tummy but nothing I couldn't push through and it went away and yeah. made it. Perfect, so, eh? Yeah, it was awesome. So what would you have thought if I would have came to you the first day and told you that you were going to go 24 hours without eating a single thing and that it wouldn't be too much of a sweat? I think that guy's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, But it turns out he's not. Yeah, there you go, right? Yeah, just so. about transferring to that fat burning system. And it's just amazing how the body can function when it is trained to burn its own fat stores for energy. And because I'm a little bit competitive, I thought, well, let's see if I can do it again. So today I'm at uh, 23 hours right now. There you go. Darn near did two in a week. That's pretty good, <laughs> hey? Yeah. And so how's the exercise going this week? This week was awesome. Uh, I got an extra day off and was able to get out uh, about 27 kilometers of walking and Amazing. Started trying to jog again, which uh, was nice. Just nice. eased it in nice and slow. Yeah. Took it easy on the knees, but uh, yeah. it felt great. Yeah, hey, I bet getting back to running and stuff was a big uh, uplifting of the spirit, eh? Oh, well, I don't think anyone could, could have called it a run, but it was well, a jog. <laughs> hey, that's all right. That's all right. Perfect, eh? Yeah, it was nice to know I can still do it. So. Awesome. Looking forward to pushing that a little bit further this week. Yeah. Uh, one story that John told me was that he had a uh, co-worker come up and notice some changes in John. You want to tell that story? or yeah, Actually, a couple now since we talked last. So yeah. We've had a couple different people at work being like, hey, have you lost weight? Yeah. Oh, well, yes, a little bit. <laughs> uh, so I uh, talked to a person from Britain and... Uh, According to British measurements, yeah. apparently I've lost two stone now. So two stone. I, I guess stones are bigger than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey, that's cool. Hey. Yeah. So there's another milestone. I didn't know I had yeah. two stone. Perfect. Hey, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Well, one thing that uh, you know is a side benefit, but definitely a benefit is. Um, the ability to inspire others and uh, when people start noticing um, you know the effort that you're putting in it's always a little bit of a boost um, you know it makes you feel good but also to keep in mind um, that now you're an inspiration and to think when you're out doing your thing when you see other people that are kind of back in that kind of rut that you were in before you started this challenge, yeah. now you are a ray of light to that person. And, you know, a little bit of a, hey, how's it going, you know, um, just so that you know, um, I noticed that you're feeling down and, you know, that's uh, the way I was feeling a lot too, so I can sympathize with that. And, uh, you know, there's definitely some hope because, you know, I've been doing some new things and I've been feeling a lot better. So, you know, keeping that in mind, uh, you know, um, whenever you notice anybody having a, a bit of a hard time or whatever, 
you have the power to inspire. Yeah. Another thing that's uh, kind of been on my mind too is we go through flu season and uh, you know working with the public I see a lot of people I work with come down with it but uh, for the first time in, in several years I have not got sick yet and just what everybody else has so yeah. nutrition is really giving me a good foundation giving that immune system a boost and uh, yeah I haven't even caught a hint of a sniffle or, or anything like that. And going through the holiday season with without that yes. is a huge, a huge plus. For Especially sure. in, in the, the job I am where it's uh, excessively busy through the holidays and, and it's easy to combining with the job and, and family yeah. obligations and children's concerts and all that kind of stuff really adds up and takes a toll when you don't get to have the proper rest and still able to come through that. Uh, not feeling great, I was uh, pretty exhausted, but yeah. uh, not getting sick was a huge bonus. So Yeah, for sure. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, well, um, one thing that we want to add on to John's program this week is um, some jumping exercise. Now, a lot of people aren't aware of the lymphatic system, which is another system. Um, you know, people have heard of lymph nodes. There's actually a lymphatic system in the body, and that helps carry waste products and different things um, through the body. And one of the best ways of getting that system functioning really, really well and optimal is by utilizing jumping exercise. So um, one thing that I'd really like John to do this week is going to be incorporate some jumping jacks into his morning um, routine. Um, so basically it'd be great if you did like a countdown perhaps or something like that, maybe, you know, a minute. Um, you could sort of gauge on That's how a really fast. Long time. Well, you know, <laughs> a minute going as fast as you can can be a, <laughs> a lifetime, yeah. um, you know, but feel it out and see what you think. Um, you know, you want to do a minute fast, maybe you want to do a couple minutes um, a little bit slower. But gauge what you feel is good, that you're kind of getting a bit of a workout. But really what you want is kind of that, a little bit of a jar, not much. You don't want your joints or anything to jar. But as you're jumping, that compression, it bounces, it actually loosens up and gets the flow of the lymphatic system going. And it's very beneficial for the health. So cool for you to jump in and do some of that this week or All right okay the other thing that I want you to add this week is going to be a little bit of cold shock therapy oh boy. so um, <laughs> you know you've been hearing probably a lot around about you know cold showers and different things like that it's kind of starting to become a bit of a health trend and you know cold showers or a cold swim in a lake or you know a cold dip in the ocean is amazing what that does to the system. Um, it just ignites uh, the immune system, gets things really rocking and rolling. Um, it produces what we call uh, cold shock um, uh, therapy, which really just gets um, the hormones of the body really fired and invigorated, um, as well as boost testosterone. That sounds really good for the middle of August. Hey, yeah, <laughs> it does, and you know, it works in January all the way through. So, all right. yeah, it'll be good. So, what we'll do um, to get you started will be um, every day when you have your shower. I have the, to shower every day now? Yes, you I'm do. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> every day at the end of your shower, right to cold. Do that. Okay. Yeah. So, hold off. Challenge yourself mentally and physically and see what you can do, okay? 10, so, 10 slow seconds is a great first start, and if you feel like you can do more, go ahead. Hey, when, when did time be able to <laughs> slow down and speed up? I thought a second was a second. <laughs> well, you never know. It just depends on what you're doing a lot of times, when time can either speed up or slow <laughs> down, that's for sure. So... Give yourself a little bit of that. It's a good thing to introduce into your um, regimen just to kind of add another element um, of you know health and invigoration to the body. And it really, when you start getting used to having that, you get out of that shower cold, 
but you feel like a million bucks. All right, so I'll go start the car so it can defrost, and I'll yeah. go freeze myself. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> that sounds good. So anything else that you'd like to talk about this uh, week? or? Uh, I think that covers it. Covers Did it off? anything? I don't think so. All I right. think you're doing pretty darn good. Oh, it's nice to be over the hump of the holidays and yeah. be rested again and uh, feel good. Yeah, so it was it was a tough season, but yeah, got through it and looking forward to this next year and seeing what I can do. Right. Okay. Sounds good. One more thing that we're gonna just touch on quickly is the the meditation and the visualization. Um, that's been John's probably hardest suit to get into. It's one of those things that is really hard for a lot of people to get into. And so, um, any new thoughts or developments in that area? Yeah, it's still hard. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. There's a lot of uh, stuff going on up here that doesn't quiet down very easily. It, that's very true, for sure. So are you opening your mind, though, to the possibility that that would be something that would be beneficial to you, though? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'll keep working on it. Yeah, perfect. Okay, well, that sounds good. Well, John's going to keep continuing on. He's going to add those couple of things in this week, another couple of easy things just to add in, and uh, we will uh, be checking back next week to do the same thing, see where John's at, and go from there. I'm the Baked Runner, and we're out.